Have you tried multiple different sleep services with your little one and you're starting to think that it's something about you or your baby, the reason that you haven't seen results yet? I spoke to a mum yesterday, really hesitant to book any more support. She's already been to two sleep schools. She's had a sleep consultant stay at her home for three nights. She's even been to a well-known baby clinic and she feels like as her husband so eloquently put it, feels like they're pissing money up the wall. And in talking to her, I really felt like she was starting to blame herself for not being able to stick to anything. And I said to her, you know, what what makes you feel like that? She said, well, I know that I couldn't follow the things that they were telling me. And I feel like I just need to be able to try harder. And I said, well, from where I'm sitting, it looks like you're doing a beautiful job responding to your child. Let's consider for a second that the services you enlisted, the people delivering those services just talked too much and didn't listen enough. Perhaps they only had one or two methods, both of which were reliant on solitary crying as the main tool of choice. Let's also consider that the nighttime techniques they taught you were so directly opposed to the way you parent your child in the day that perhaps that's the reason that you couldn't follow instruction because you simply didn't agree with what they were teaching you. And nothing to do with you not trying hard enough. But her main fear was that now her child is two and a half years old, that they've missed the boat. The husband really feels like they've tried everything and this is just the way he is and there's nothing they can do to change him now. But like I said to her, at two and a half years, we're still at the very beginning. It really comes down to so much more than sleep at this age. It comes down to being able to place loving limits around things, gentle boundaries in a way that honours their need for closeness and feels right and fair to everybody. And that might sound like a faff to some people who just want the quick, easy methods that sleep schools deliver. Because no, gentle ways are not quick. They're not simple. They take time and patience. And that's because we are in the very early stages of growing a happy, healthy, understanding, kind and loving adult. Training a kid to sleep through the night as quickly as possible should never be the end game. And your parenting instincts matter. They're there for a reason. It's okay to listen to them.